Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was down on uh, the plaza here in Ashland and the occupation of Ashland. You know, it's like, you know, maybe 50 to 100 people with some friends. And, you know, we were talking, you know, I was talking to some young people there and some people had questions. They found out that I was a lawyer at one point and they had, que they had questions. So they started asking me some questions, staying around asking me questions about some things. And it was interesting. I, I, and there was a couple of things I pointed out. You know, the real thing that people, I think, want to know is what is it they can do that can make a change soon or now. And there's two levels, I'd say. There's the national level, and then there's the more state or local level. Let's start with the state or local level. The, the, this is the most, the most elegant way to bypass this restriction of credit, because that's what money is right now, or debt, rather. But it's, we take it as credit. We take it as a loan. Okay, um, To bypass that system is to have the state charter their own bank, such as North Dakota did. North Dakota's had a state chartered bank for since the 1920s, I think, early 20s. And what they do is they deposit their tax funds, they, they, they get through property taxes and state income tax or whatever other taxes they get, into that account. And they take that money and through the miracle of fractional reserve banking, which means that you can, if you have $100, you can loan out $1,000, more or less. I mean, that's so if you have X amount of money in the account, you can loan out about 10 times that amount. They start to make loans to local businesses at low interest or even no interest loans if they want. If there's an interest charge, it comes back to the state of North Dakota so they can pay their budget and build up their infrastructure. So North Dakota has virtually no unemployment, the lowest unemployment in America. The state has no debt, zero debt. Whereas all these other states are in debt, like California, all they need to do is charter a state bank and use that as a way to, through fractional reserve lending, create credit, put it out to the, bank, the community so people can start businesses and start employing themselves. So the best way to get Oregonians or Californians or Missourians or whoever employed now is get your state representatives and state governor to charter a state bank quickly.